Hi, I'm Sam from the Copper Elm, and today we're going to make some no-sew cushions for my camper. First, we're going to cut our plywood. This is going to be the base of the cushion, but if you already have plywood on the benches underneath your old cushions, you can totally use that. If you're starting from scratch, you can use whatever thickness of plywood that you want. If you have pretty sufficient support braces or arms on your bench, you can go with a thinner piece of plywood. If you need the plywood to be more sturdy and hold more of the weight, then you want to go thicker. If you're doing this inside of a camper, weight is really important, so the thinner the better. And then just add an extra support beam going across your bench. Next, we're going to cut a piece of foam to the same measurements as your plywood. You can find foam like this at different fabric stores, but I actually got this from the hardware store. It was significantly cheaper and the quality is pretty good. They're holding up really well. Now this is something I would change if I were doing this project again. Instead of cutting the foam with a razor, I've heard that you can use an electric bread knife and it cuts through perfectly. I used a brand new razor and it did work, but I took quite a few passes to get through the whole thickness of the foam. The end result was not a super clean cut, although you're putting fabric over it so it's not going to be super obvious, but if I were to do it again, I would definitely go and get a bread knife. Once everything was cut, I used a spray adhesive from Scotch to attach my foam to my plywood. This is not going to like permanently glue it into place, but it does give it a little tackiness so everything's not moving around while you're adding the fabric. I just sprayed a decent amount on there and then lined up my foam with the edges of the plywood and pushed down. Now set that aside to dry and grab your fabric. To measure out your fabric, you're going to want to start with the measurement of your plywood and then you're going to add the thickness of the foam times two plus an additional four inches. So if the length of your bench is 36 inches and your foam is four inches thick, you're going to do 36 plus eight, so we're at 44, and then add in another four, so 48 inches for our length. Do the same for the depth, and then once you've got your fabric cut, you're going to put it face down on the ground and place your foam and your plywood face down on top of it. Make sure your fabric is nice and straight, keep it kind of taut, and you're going to put one staple in the center of each side. I'm using an electric stapler, and this is nothing fancy whatsoever, so don't get intimidated by that part. Once you have a staple in all four sides, go ahead and flip it over and double check your fabric. You want to make sure your fabric is lined up, it's going in the right direction, and there's no wrinkles. At this point, if it's looking good, you're going to go ahead and flip it back over and add some more staples. I start out with the staples really far apart, and then I go back in and kind of fill in the spaces in between. Once you've got everything nice and secure, it's time to fold in your corners. Now there are a million ways to do this, so just kind of play around with it and see what works best for your fabric. But for this project, it seemed to be easiest if I folded the fabric over on itself first and then folded it in the other direction towards the plywood. It is important though to make sure that all four corners are folded in the same way. You don't want one kind of looking a little different. And also make sure that you don't staple in a bunch of excess fabric. You want to kind of make sure that it's nice and flat and smooth underneath your staples. If you have fabric that's bunched up under the corners, it's going to make the cushion not sit evenly in the bench, so just make sure that it's as smooth as you possibly can. I want to mention too that depending on the fabric you're using, you may want to use batting to kind of give yourself a little more padding so that the corners of your plywood don't poke through the fabric. If you do go with batting, you need to add a little bit to your measurements, so depending on how thick your batting is, I would add a couple extra inches before I cut my fabric. And if you go that route, you have two options. You could fold the batting and the fabric over at the same time and staple them together, or you could fold all the batting over, staple everything, do the corners on that, and then do the same with the fabric. Personally, I would do it separately. I think it gives a more professional look. Now, I know one of the biggest concerns with this technique is that you cannot take the fabric off to wash it. If you're going to be using this cushion on a bench in a high traffic area where you think it's going to get especially dirty, I would use an outdoor fabric that is wipeable. That way you can clean it as you go. My fabric definitely is not, but it is perfect for just a little spot cleaning here and there. So there you have it. Inexpensive, super easy to make, no-sew cushions for my camper.